Hi, everyone. I wanted to do a little video to explain uh, two-year-olds and training two-year-olds. Uh, I get a lot of questions of, uh, you know, we'll see the horses working and then they get interrupted in their work pattern. So I want to take you through kind of the progression of how two-year-olds, uh, how we go about training them and get them, getting them ready for their first race. So I wanted to start by, a lot of times we buy the horses as yearlings at the yearling sale, or maybe we buy them in January of their two-year-old season. But either way, they still need to be broke. And so we send them to a farm where they get to learn their ABCs. They get used to having a rider on their back and they'll go in the round pen and they'll learn all about that, being ridden and going both directions. Then they'll venture out to a track. A lot of times the farms have a training track where they'll jog them, gallop them, do some figure eights with them, stuff like that. But every day they're being handled, they're being ridden. And so they just progressively get more used to that. Um, so then once they have about, about 60 or 90 days of training on them, then oftentimes they might either come into the track or uh, they'll start doing some breezes. And it really depends on the training center, whether it be in Arizona, the ones we use uh, are in Washington, Arizona, California. And it really depends on if the facility has good footing and that you feel safe and comfortable with them going like one and two furlong workouts. If they do have that, that's not such a bad thing. They can get a little bit of experience going down the lane before they come to the track. If the uh, facility uh, maybe just doesn't have the length of stretch we would like or the footing isn't 100%, then I think it's much better if we wait until they come to the track and then we go down the lane uh, with them ourselves. So when we bring a horse into the track, a lot of times they take a few weeks to uh, get used to the track and to not spook and, and just, you know, go in company. We take them in company as much as possible. And then along the way, we go through the starting gate and just walk in and out. And then, uh, we'll start off with their workouts. So with their workouts, what we do is we start with one furlong. We'll do that once or twice. Then we'll go to two furlongs and do that once or twice and then three furlongs and so on like that. When the races are four and a half furlongs, usually a couple of four furlong workouts uh, will be good enough to get them ready to run. But then it also depends on their gate work. So when they're going to the gate and learning, they'll first just walk out. And then later on, they'll go ahead and jog out and then they'll gallop out and so it's just a natural progression of going a little faster as those doors open they get used to going a little faster so we just keep working it that way until they're ready to break and again we try and go in company out of the gate as much as possible even when they're jogging out or when they're galloping out and then when they're working out of the gate we like to go in company as much as possible so that they get uh, they learn to run with another horse they get the competition of of doing that and it's just a, a good experience when uh, the more company, the better. Um, some of the common injuries that uh, will come about with two-year-olds, obviously, sometimes they get snotty noses. They're a lot like kids in kindergarten. Um, you know, they're very susceptible to being around other babies. They'll get a snotty nose. They may get a temperature. And so they need some antibiotics and they need to get over that. They also sometimes get a sore throat. They get these little blisters in their throat, which is called pharyngitis. And they're just a young horse thing where they're still basically like a sore throat for people. And it's just something that the young horses get. Uh, sometimes they can work through it and sometimes they, it, it's more and they, they have to take a, a break, um, you know, walking a few days or a week or what have you like that. And then another common injury, as everybody hears, uh, hears is um, uh, shins. So as the bone's developing, as they're going at speed works, that bone is getting concussion. And sometimes those bones really get like micro fractures um, so that there's a, a little layer of skin over top of the shin. And sometimes that gets sore, uh, the periosteum. And then sometimes there is the, the bone itself, uh, the cannon bone. And it, it'll get, like I said, little micro fractures. And sometimes you'll actually get shin fractures. So uh, we always want to back off as much as possible. And then, um, you know, sometimes by jogging, you can get that bone density a little more, uh, a little stronger. And sometimes we'll back off and we'll jog them. We'll jog them for a week or two. Then we'll go back to galloping and then we'll go back to working. And sometimes backing off is enough and sometimes the shins reoccur and then we kind of have to just maybe give them time off at the farm. And that could be anywhere from 30 to 60 days or 60 to 90 days, just depending on the severity. A lot of times we'll x-ray the horses too before they start doing their speed works. 
and we'll x-ray their knees. And they have growth plates in their knees. So this will tell us how, not so much how mature they are, but at what level those growth plates are closed. And oftentimes they grade these as A, B, and C. A are growth plates that are closed. B are growth plates that aren't quite closed and will probably close in about 30 days. And C knees are pretty wide open. The gap is not closed and that could take about 60 days to close. Um, also, there's another thing, the hind end sometimes gets sore. Uh, sometimes they get tibia stress fractures. Oftentimes at the track, it's called a tibia. They get a tibia. Um, and that is another young horse uh, type of uh, injury. Uh, it's more of like the shin buck. It's a little bit of a stress fracture. Um, it's the calcium is, is still laying down the bone and it's still getting stronger and, and at full maturity. And so sometimes they can get a little tibia stress fracture and that takes about 90 days to heal up. So um, the, a lot of these things are two-year-old, I'll say common problems, but if a horse is a three-year-old and has never been to the track and has never had workouts, then that also could be, uh, these three-year-olds often get these two-year-old type injuries, um, snotty nose because they haven't been around a lot of horses, uh, sore shins because they haven't had the concussion and the speed works yet, and, uh, and uh, tibias are rare, but they still can get them in three-year-olds. But, but once you get um, outside of the three and a half, later in their three-year-old year, a lot of these things are not, uh, sore shins are not usually a thing, tibias are not a thing. Um, not that they can't get sore shins, uh, but it's, it's very rare. But as far as two-year-olds and the progression, uh, that's why on some of the horses uh, and even some of the partners that we have, you'll see a horse will be working along every week, every week, and then they'll have a break and they're not working. Um, and I try to send emails out or do Zoom calls to say, okay, we're backing off a little, got a little sore shins. We're going to see how the horse uh, responds to jogging and see how we do. But then other times what we do is we go ahead and, you know, ease back into the workouts and see, are the shins okay? Any, any muscle soreness, is that okay? So you're kind of testing the waters to see if they're okay to go. And um, then once they progress up to uh, the race, they're off and running. Now it's not to say a horse can't have a, a one or two races and then get sore shins or then get a tibia. It can happen, but usually once you get them to a race, um, you know, knock on wood, everything stays healthy and you can, um, uh, you know, continue on in their racing career. Now, always as they get older, uh, you're going to have different little things like ankle problems or knee problems or shin problems or hind end soreness. Those are just kind of nature of the beast. Um, just like a basketball or a football player, they get soreness in different areas. And so uh, these are things that we manage throughout their career. Sometimes we have to give them time off for it. And other times we give them different therapies and, uh, that will, will be for another time in another video. But today I wanted to talk about two-year-olds, some of the things that happen along the way and the progression that they go along while they're getting ready to race. So uh, didn't wanna make the video too long. So I just wanted to give you a little info on two-year-olds, the progression of training two-year-olds and how we bring them along. Thank you.